been a while since these bolts and nuts have been undone. Let's give it a little bit of lubrication. There you go. Well, that's <laughs> one side of the drum there was literally no pad left so I've used the old pad in that side put a one that ain't too old in this side greased everything the um, handbrake mechanism was seized solid that's took her a while to get that all unseized um, put all the new clips back in well not new obviously um, I mean the ones that come out of it. Me, tech personally, obviously, I would normally just do this. I would um, take it off and not bother. But I want to give everyone some footage to watch and basically watch her drive forward and back if anyone's interested in watching that. I know a few people have said that it's been a while since I uploaded a video, so um, this is why I'm doing it. Um. So that's this side done. Just got to clean the inside of the drum a little bit. Then that's ready to go on. Still got to do the passenger side. This side has actually got a brake shoe on both sides. So I'm still going to take it all off. Make sure that the handbrake mechanism ain't seized like the other side was. And then that's the rear done. Jack the front up. Just stick some new pads in and then we'll be ready to see if she'll drive forward and back. And it's also going to be easy for me, it's actually going to benefit me having brakes because it's going to make it easier for me to get it in and out of the garage rather than pushing it. Because if you was to actually look where I am, there is actually quite a bit of a slope and it's quite hard to get it up into the garage. And gravel it's like dead slippery um, what else was I going to say oh, I was going to say something else I forgot right anyway see you for now come back once they're both done right I thought what I'll do instead I'll just leave the camera running in And then what I'm going to do, obviously I didn't, start, didn't film stripping this side down, I'm going to actually film the other side. Just hope the handbrake mechanism ain't seized like this was, because it was a bit of a pig to undo. But, oh well. now um, someone has come to me and said that they got um, a unit they've got a section that they'd like to rent out to me they want 200 pound a month for it which ain't too bad he said it's big the gap where he it'll give me it's probably big enough to fit maybe three cars so take him up on that offer I'm gonna go and have a look if he allows me to film it I'll film it and then hopefully he said next week he should be out of hospital so um, hopefully within the next week maybe two weeks we'll be getting this moved to somewhere where I can actually start stripping it down it's got electric so give you all some good footage of seen me cut all the rot out, weld it up. Um, I am going to try and keep as many original panels as I can. But we'll see how it goes. This panel, I don't think this is going to be repairable. It's going to take too much to do this one panel. 
so I might just replace it although express panels do actually do an arch where it comes up here right around and it literally near enough all that that bit so I might go down that route yet we'll see we shall see actually still seized a little bit but I think obviously got to be perfect it's not like it's gonna be going on the road Take you on the other side now and start getting that strip. What I'm doing here is just greasing everywhere with WD, anywhere where obviously anything rests, hopefully it'll make it easier for it to come apart. First of all, take the two clips off that hold the shoes in. You've got one each side. What you have to do, you have to push them to release it, the spring tension, twist it. Then obviously mine's corroded, so you have to give it a bit of a wiggle. shape then see so I'm quite finding it hard to see the screen so that's why I'm all over the place you also got a T bit in there as you push in I'd say you have to get a bit of a wiggle because of the corrosion then you have to twist it so it sits in the dish and then it won't pull out One of them each side. Keep them safe. spring at the bottom what this does it keeps the tension pulled to the bottom of the drum and that one looks like that 
we've also got one spring right at the top. It looks like that. And it's that shape. You have to make sure it goes back in the right way because it's shaped like that. So it sits just underneath the uh, the cylinder. Take that shoe off. You've also got one more spring. It's quite a tension spring. It keeps the other shoe pulled to the drum. You got a small curve that keeps it in the shoe. Then you got uh, an edge. It's a bit longer. That comes up. I can't really show you. Comes up into the handbrake uh, mechanism. Oh, brilliant! This side's. If you can see that, this side's moving nice on the handbrake side. Beautiful. All right. Just underneath the ratchet side, you've got a little clip. Oh yeah, brilliant. Same. This side's moving nice and free as well. Oh. See, I didn't have any of this ish. Uh, the other side, it was literally a seized solid. Like, whacking it in all sorts, get it loose. Right, so. Give that. All a bit of a wide brush. in there but it should should seal right, just take that off oh there you go moving nice now obviously all the years that it's not moved Brake fluid's dried up. Right, the bottom side's moving nice and free. just put the clip back on you see you've got two uh, two holes so you put it's got like a a, a a nubble on the end so you push it through through the hole then pull it and it sits in that little tiny curve at the top stop it coming back out just like that push that back in there Tons of spider web stuff.
said so there's going to be a lot of people out there that's going to say basically what's the point of doing this but like I've explained before I'm doing it for the viewers that are interested I mean I've got a day off work I didn't have anything else planned so I thought I'd come round here make a video for all of you lot book the shoe in and push it in to the brake cylinder It can be a bit fiddler. If you should be wearing goggles, really, in case they do spring off. And for anyone that's not done drums before, I would strongly advise that you wear goggles. How does that work? That's why I already got it out. I was about to say, how the hell do you lose something when you put it in the box? But I've just got it out. The stupid boy. bent this is basically just because it's cheap crap I think it's like this metal needs to be thicker then I think it would have worked even better but it has done the job on pushing the pistons back which will allow me to get some new brake pads in like 
so you would normally have something like these on your brake pads shims but obviously what's the point putting them on right what I am going to do is put a bit of copper grease on here just to help help it slide a little bit you then got the new pins that will go through these are just some pins I had lying around there's some old well they're not old they are new ish brake pads and this is actually a spacer kit for a, make your calipers so they're like a 2.8 capri caliper obviously I'm not doing that I just want want the pins so let's get you on the tripod now grease that get these pads in and then that should be good clean shiny ball it's not um why is it being blurry it's not um blurry oh rooster so just spray a bit more dweed in there and then see if we can somehow get it to go back it might be a case of we might have to take the caliper off but if it's going to go that too far in depth then there's really no point but we'll persevere with this for, for now and we'll see let's loop this up a bit see if it'll help it move a bit better I'll put some more on there what I did do on the other side because it was seized is I tapped the actual caliper with, with an ammo then as I was pushing it back and it literally then shot back so I'm hoping this side might be the same right, let's try and get you on the stand now
finally. Finally got it back. Got the pads in. Just pump the pedal. So push them out. And it's not seized on, so fingers crossed. Thing is I can hear a slight hissing at the rear. So I reckon them cylinders are leaking. But we'll see. Let's get this wheel back on. And then get the nuts torqued up. Well, not torqued up, just tie it. And then we shall try driving her. Right. See you for now. Hi, welcome back. Put brake pads in the front, sorted the drums out. Let's see if she'll drive. Alright, it's definitely filming. Alright. A bit riskier, but we are only going like dead slow forward and back. I 
Actually, I think what I'm going to do is set the camera up over here, get a nice little reverse bit of footage for you. Obviously you can also see why I need to look for a unit because there's no way I'm going to be able to restore this car in one of these little council garage, garages. Um, they're just way too small and they're not even got electricity. I think we're going to call that a bit of a day. What I'm going to do is just get this bit of rubbish cleaned out of this garage, and then I might even stick the camera back on and film me reversing in. But it's going to be a bit riskier because I'm noticing I'm pressing the brakes. Is it still filming? Yeah, it's I'm pressing the brakes, but obviously the engine is overriding the brakes. That's probably only just because I've just put new pads in. I don't know. Um, either that or there's probably a leak somewhere but that'll do for now and I'll come back in a minute once I'm gonna put her in the garage Hi, 
hi, welcome back. Time to put the Capri away now until tomorrow when we start stripping the interior out. So let's get on with putting her away. Get ready to hear the beast fire up. Sorry everyone, look she's just there ticking over. I've just got to leave it ticking over for a while, she keeps coming out for some reason. Just leave it like that for now, just let her warm up for, for a bit and then stick her in.
Well, that didn't very go really smoothly. All this crap needs to get rid of. Still, as I was saying, it's a bit of a tight squeeze. see that she's driving so that's another video done for all of you lot that are watching um, yet again for everyone that presses like comment and the other people that subscribed thank you um, as soon as I've got that unit she's going to be start being stripped down I'm going to take the interior out but as for like the running gear and stuff I'm going to leave that in um, that would be quite nice, wouldn't it? For when the pickup truck comes, drive on the truck. Um, a bit tick over, and he's turning down a bit still. Still ticking over too high when it's in gear. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the video there. Hope you all enjoyed, and thank you for watching.